All right, uh, Shalom. Of course, I want to um, now start off by giving all praise uh, unto Yahweh, uh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world uh, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And I just quickly wanted to um, just to do a little fun video, real quick, man, because I was listening to um, you know just a couple of these preterist videos, right? If you don't know what the word preterist means. What it basically means is that, you know, it's a group of people who believe in um, basically that the Christ already returned. Primarily, they say in 70 AD is when, you know, a vast majority or the majority, excuse me, a vast majority or all of the prophecies came to pass. Because I do got to give a distinction. You have um, two types of preterist. You have um, a full preterist, which is somebody who believes that all prophecy has been fulfilled and that we're living in Christ's kingdom right now. Okay, and that all things are fulfilled. Basically, the Bible is a complete history book, right? There's nothing left in it that has to happen, you know, in the future, right? The Christ already returned and we're reigning, you know, with Christ right now. The elect's reigning with Christ right now on the earth and all nations are subject to Christ right now is what the one group believes. But then there's another group who is a partial preterist, and they believe that, you know, there's certain things that haven't happened yet, such as, you know, Christ establishing the kingdom. And, um, you know, maybe a couple smaller prophecies, you know, haven't happened yet. But major things such as, you know, the um, MO, you know, Babylon being taken down and, um, you know, anything else. Such as, um, excuse me, such as... Um, you know, Christ returning a second time, you know, they, they all believe in that really already happened. As I said, primarily, if you ask them when, they'll say that it happened in um, uh, 70 AD, right? It happened in 70 AD is what they will um, say. So I just wanted to, um, just to a ask a couple uh, questions, you know, a couple scriptures I have at the ready here. That I wanted to ask, you know, any preterist, right? Whether you're a partial or a full preterist. I just want to know, when did these handful of scriptures take place? And I don't want to hear, well, they did happen. But I don't, I don't have proof of it. I want to see proof that these things occurred. Right? I want proof as to how and when these things occurred. Because as of now, I am, of course, of the position... That all the scriptures I'm going to read have not happened already. So if there's any preterist, whether you're partial preterist or full preterist, who's listening, you know, please tell me down below, you know, when did these a uh, couple of scriptures take place, right? What time in history, and what documents can you show me that can validate that this already taken place? That's what I want to inquire about. So the first one I'm going to hit you with is Revelation, the sixth chapter. I'm going to start at verse 12. Now, I want you to remember this. You'll notice that this correlates with, um, I'll read verse 13. It says, And the stars of the heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. All right, that's that goes back to Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay, and pretty much all of this goes back to Matthew, the 24th chapter. Right, when Christ is giving the signs to look out for. Right, Mark 13, Luke 21, for a couple of examples. And when Christ was giving the apostles, you know, the signs to look out for. You know, when his second coming was going to occur. Okay, but let me just read this real quick. I'm going to read from 12 to 17. It says... And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree cast his her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and every island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains and mighty men, and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. 
and said to the rocks and the mountains, Fall on us, and hide us in our face of him that sits upon the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day, the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? So the reason why I'm reading that is this is speaking about when Christ returns in his second coming. So they're going to tell me that Christ returned in 70 AD for his second coming, which is what a vast majority of preterists would believe, right? So I want to see evidence that this happened. And keep in mind, it says that all these people were, um, you know, in fear when this taking place. So there should be some type of, you know, evidence that we have today, you know, that people recorded you know, of this great event taking place. Okay, there would have to be. Okay, so it's, it's um, you know, they, they can't answer this. You know why they can't answer it? Because it didn't happen yet. This is happening in the future. This hasn't happened today. Or this has not happened as of this current point in time. This is happening in the future, right? Hopefully the near future. But this has not yet taken place. Okay, so anyone who argues it does, they need to provide observable proof that it did happen. Because it clearly has not taken place yet. So that's strike one. I got a couple more precepts for you. Um, let me, uh, here's a good one. Oh, and this correlates with the um, Revelation, the sixth chapter that we read. It says, Revelation 1 and 7, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. Right, so when the Christ returns, you know, all nations are going to see him. It says even here in the verse that every eye shall see him. Right, so the question is, is if that did happen, well, why is there no documents we have? Or proof that people have given down for the ages that this actually happened. Like there's no writings we have to show that people seen, you know, who the world calls Christ, you know, appear in the sky, you know, and and um, you know, come down and make war with the armies, such as you read about in Revelation the nineteenth chapter, right? That Christ comes and makes war with the armies of the world. That hasn't happened yet. But a preterist will tell you what did happen. So it's like, okay, well, what proof can you give me? And that did happen. And no one can give it. Everyone can sit there and, um, you know, and talk. Right? A lot of these guys are very good at doing it. But what they can't do is, you know, prove their statements that they make. Which is, of course, ironic. You know what I'm saying? Um, and here's another one for you. What I want to know is um when did this happen okay because this clearly proves that the christ didn't return a second time jeremiah 16 verse 14 it says therefore behold the day is come says yahweh that it shall not no more be said the lord liveth that brought up the children of israel out of the land of egypt but the lord liveth that brought up the children of israel from the land of the north and from all countries whether he have driven them and I will bring them again unto their land, and I will give unto their fathers, which that's going into the next verse. Basically, it's saying that um that the Lord's gonna set Israel back in their lands today. So we all know the Bible. The Israelites are so called black people, right? So the Israelites are scattered abroad throughout the earth. Which the ironic part is that they were scattered when the event of 70 AD taken place. But they'll sit there and tell you that's when the Christ redeemed his chosen. <laughs> is, is, is then. Right? That Christ returned, you know, to save his elect back then is what they'll tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the ironic part is that's when he actually dispersed, you know, the Israelites to among all nations is what in 70 AD. So that's ironic. But this certainly hasn't happened yet because the North Country is talking about America here, Babylon, which is where primarily, you know, majority of the Israelites are today. Of course, you have Israelites scattered, you know, throughout all the earth. That's true. And it even tells you in, um, what is that, Matthew, the 24th chapter, it tells you, if you go to verse 29 on down, it says that 
the angels are going to be sent to gather the elect from all over the world, man. Not just America, it says all over the world. So, um, you know, this clearly shows that it hasn't happened yet. Okay, because Israel's still scattered. So, I mean, that's just a handful of scriptures I wanted to read. You know, and those are some real good questions. It's like, when did these events happen? And instead of just saying they did, you know, we need some type of observable evidence that they did occur. Okay, so if there's any preterists who's listening to this, you know, I ask of you to, um, you know, please explain that to me. Because I have a hard time, from the preterist perspective, you know, understanding, you know, how this, um, how this could have possibly happened already in the past. Because it certainly hasn't. But anyway, I'm going to say Shalom.